be alive. What a lucky guy. At least death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit! You're lying! Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here! I think... For this one... I can give you... If this is so important, why didn't you explain what you are going there for? And where did... where did you get this photo from? If you only knew where I've just been and what I saw... One day you'll finish badly, Strela. <laughs> Hold on, son. You're going to make it. Where will you go now? To... the north. Come on, man, wake up! Oh, this bit... You had me worried. What the hell are you doing, man? Have you lost your memory or something? You were the one who suggested that we take this precaution. Oh, well, at least you're... At least you're still alive. Look, Straylock, we've got no time, so I need you to listen to me. Everything you have said about the monolith is true. All of it. It is just an illusion manufactured in a lab next to the sarcophagus. And nobody, nobody who reached the monolith has ever come back. It looks like they have died there. But anyway, while you're away, I dug up some more info. And basically, there is a decoder to open the door which leads to the monolith controls. This decoder is hidden in a stash and prepiant. Now I'm going to give you the coordinates of this stash, and I'm giving you the key to open it. I want you to take the decoder, and I want you to find the door in the sarcophagus. And then you... well, you'll know what to do. But it seems that this is the only way of uncovering the zone's real secret. This is the one you have been trying to work out, Strelok.
I want to be rich. I want the zone to disappear. I want immortality. I want to rule the world. Humanity is corrupt. Mankind must be controlled.
I see you have many questions for me. Well, ask them, and then we can decide what to do with you. We are the result of an experiment aimed at creating a super-consciousness called Sea Consciousness. The consciousnesses of seven volunteers were connected during the experiment leading to the creation of the super-consciousness that is us. We immediately subordinated those who were conducting the experiment and assigned them to tasks we needed them to carry out. According to our calculations, Earth is surrounded by a special informational field, the so-called noosphere. It includes all the inhabitants of the planet with cognitive abilities. Our main goal was to make small adjustments to the noosphere, allowing us to remove things like anger, cruelty, greed, and other negative factors from the planet. Individuals are unable to affect the noosphere, but see consciousness could. Unfortunately, we made a mistake, and our interference spawned the zone, which we had been trying to contain ever since. What you see is the result of ill-considered intervention in the Earth's noosphere. Attempts to affect the noosphere brought about a local crack. The zone is simply the visible manifestation of this crack. The underlying problem is far greater than you can imagine. You're a bolt that fell out of the machine. Unfortunately, that did not come to our attention for a long time. From the moment the zone was formed, many people have tried to get to its center, but we cannot let that happen. Humanity is not ready for the truth. That is why we recruited stalkers by promising them the fulfillment of their most coveted desires. Once recruited, they would be sent to protect the zone secret. It was the best place. After the explosion in 1986, there were very few people left in this area, and we could work without fear of being found. Further, there were many powerful antennae here which are extremely important for our cognitive optimization experiments. No, we had nothing to do with that. Most of us were only starting out in science back then. The Chernobyl zone was not used as a testing site for experiments until 1989. STALKER is a coded acronym which we use to mark agents program for particular missions. Your mission as our agent was to kill Strelak and his group. They got too close to finding out things they shouldn't know. We created a network of psi fields on the way to the zone center in order to recruit agents. You know one of these fields by the name of Brain Scorcher. When a stalker attempts to reach the zone center in order to fulfill some wish, we acquire control over his consciousness and program him to a specific mission. A mistake was made, and your mission was to kill yourself. The transports we use to send our marked agents into the zone. They infiltrate the stalker community and carry out our orders without realizing it. Unfortunately, more than half of stalkers die during transportation. The zone is very unstable. You are one of our agents sent to kill Strelak, and we're now trying to work out how we made that mistake. That depends on you. The zone is growing. We are trying to restrain its expansion, but humanity seems to be intent on hindering our work. Our resources are not limitless, and the bodies connected to sea consciousness eventually die. If you join us, we can restrict the zone's growth. If you decide otherwise, we cannot make a credible prognosis of the outcome.
Uh, I haven't seen Straylock in a long time. Is he dead already? Although he's hardy as a cat, he should be okay, I think. But well... Well, let's leave this place, pal. Let's have some dinner. I know that you're more interested in that than our old friend. I don't know whether I was right or wrong. I guess I'll never know. But I made it. And I guess I should be thankful for that.